what can I do and how can I tweak this and that. And I think I've got a great combo going on here. What else is there to do on a rainy day? Well, make wings, of course. That's exactly what we're doing. We're gonna be using some different kind of rub this time. We're using the Weber New Orleans Cajun rub. And I'm also gonna use Buffalo Wild Wings medium sauce. It is raining like crazy here. I'll give you guys a shot of it, but we're gonna make some wings. We got the Weber kettle already fired up. Let's start. Of course, the first thing we do is we just open our thing of wings. I like to do these party wings. I get them at the local store. There's not a whole heck of a lot in them. They're perfect for just one person, but you know, if I was gonna do a whole boatload of these, they'd be perfect for that as well. Kind of break them up a little bit. We're gonna coat them with a little bit of yeah. olive oil. Thank you, Thomas Garvey, for that. Give these things a good coat. All right, these are looking great. I'm gonna give them about 15 minutes to kind of just do their thing, sweat it out. Then we're gonna throw them on the Weber cattle. This just kind of gives you an idea of the rain that's going on here today. And that's my cat, Diesel. Hey, Diesel, get it, get it. Diesel. Yeah, I've got Gato Taco written all over it. The wings have had about 15 minutes to sweat down. They look good, they're smelling good. I think it's time to put them on the Weber kettle. But before we do that, I just wanted to say that the Weber kettle is running at about 300 to 325. I'm monitoring the heat really close because I don't want it to go too far in the heat direction of super hot. And I don't want it to go into the heat direction of low. We're using Kingsford Hickory charcoal for this. I think it's time to put them on. This configuration on the Weber kettle, I'm using the Vortex. Seen it before, also have a link uh, for it in the description below. Vortex is absolutely great if you're looking for that indirect heat. That is a big old one. I think that one's gonna take a while to cook. All right, we're gonna cap this. Give them about 10, 15 minutes, check them out, flip them. We'll see you then. We're hitting that 15 minute mark. We're still running at about three to three and a quarter, which is perfect. It's time to flip these chicken wings. They got great color so far. Man, look at the size of that thing. All right, we've got some grill marks going on there too. Awesome. All right, we're gonna give them about another 15 minutes that point we're gonna flip them and check the temp. We'll see you then. Another 15 minutes is down. We're into this cook 30 minutes. I think it's time to flip the chicken, check the temp. Let's do it. Wow. Looks really good. We've got some great color going on here. We'll move that one a little closer into the actual heat source just because it's so large. Let's check the temperature out. I don't know if you can see that or not. Running at about 155. No, oh, that one's over. So I'm gonna just put it off the side. This one's running, uh, not quite. Mm, 150s, okay. Looks great. All right, let's give these another 10 minutes. Then I think it's time to start painting them. Time to flip our chicken again. Retest the temps. I think it's time to start painting these chickens. Yeah. See, the ones on the sides are only coming in at about 155, at least that one. That one's done. The smaller pieces appear to be done. I want to really get into that, into the meat of that thing too, right next to the bone. Not quite ready. All right, so we're going to put these last few chicken 
chicken legs actually directly over the heat source. And while they cook away, I'm gonna paint a couple of the chicken wings. And we're just gonna use the Buffalo Wild Wings uh, medium sauce. And I'm not gonna paint every one of them. I think I'm gonna do two of the wings. The reason being is I really want to see what they taste like with just our New Orleans Cajun rub. Wings have been on over the direct heat for five minutes. Like it's just time to check out those legs. Ah, that did the trick. We're coming in at 186 on that one. Oh yeah, that really did the trick. Excellent. Now put these off to the side. Now, since I already painted two, sorry, painted two of the wings, I'm gonna just paint one of the legs. All right, now that they're further away from that direct heat source on the kettle, I'm just gonna let these things sit for about five minutes. Then we're gonna pull them off and let them sit for about five minutes. Here's our final product. These are the ones that just have the Weber New Orleans Cajun rub on it. These have the New Orleans Cajun rub on it as well. So what we're doing, the Buffalo Wild Wings medium sauce. I've got some ranch dressing. I'm gonna put up here to the side. There we go. And I'm gonna add some of our wing sauce here as well. You never know, you just might wanna dip a little bit more. So the first thing I wanna try is without the sauce. And they're just talking about pretty much, not naked, but this has the Weber New Orleans Cajun rub on it. Got great flavor. It just comes right out and, and hits you. you. You still taste that chicken, but that New Orleans Cajun, wow. Dipping this wing into the ranch would be a crime. All right, I want to try a wing that has the Weber New Orleans Cajun with the buffalo medium sauce on it. That's the ticket right there. What a great combination. That chicken shines through, that natural flavor. The rub and that sauce complement each other. Although I do want to try it. Mm. Ranch overpowers it. All right, you saw how we made it, super simple. Go out, get yourself some, not a sponsor. We'll see you on the next episode and enjoy. Peace, guys.